everyone, so um, I thought I'd do a makeup haul because I don't always buy makeup um, and I get in moods, like sometimes I feel like buying makeup, sometimes I don't feel like buying makeup at all and I'll buy more clothes and stuff, so yeah, but uh, recently this month I've kind of bought a few more makeup bits um, and like skincare and stuff like that. And it's kind of a collective haul, so it's not stuff I've obviously gone out and bought all in one day, it's stuff that I've bought over a few weeks. Okay, so... Um, I'll start off with my some model zone stuff. I heard about the model zone like half off sale online, so I picked up a few bits. One of the things I actually gave to my sister, I got for my sister, so she's got that. It's like a white nail varnish. Um, but what I got from there, the sale, was the nail varnish in pink, pink punch, which is a really, really bright neon colour. And it's just basically a really, really bright pink neon. Yeah, I got the Model Zone nail art, nail art pen um, in black so I'm going to be doing some designs and that on my nails um, I picked up one of, another one of these because you all know I like the blackberry one um, this one's in ballet pink and it's one of the lip balms and it looks like that and, but I think the, the um, formula is a bit different and it's got sparkles in it so it is different to the other one and I'm not sure if I like it as much to be honest I think I prefer the other one and also when it came the lid bright was broken, so not impressed. <laughs> um, and then another nail varnish I got recently is the Barry M Blue Moon. Just I think I just got this because I kind of collect the nail varnishes of Barry M, so this was one I didn't have. I also got some skincare things. I picked up this from um, number seven because they're doing that um, five pound off voucher thing at the moment. So I picked up this radiance boosting. A uh, hot cloth cleanser, so it's like the Lizelle one, but um, it's the number seven one, and it comes with a muslin cloth, but it's a bit harsher on the skin than Lizelle. So, I this has actually made me funny, funnily enough, start using my Lizelle again because I kind of missed how it really made your skin really soft. But this is really good as well. Um, it is different to Lizelle, like how it smells and how it feels. It's kind of lighter, so I've only used it once or twice, but so far I do like it, and it's a lot cheap. Well. It's cheaper than Lizelle with the voucher. Got, actually that's not skincare. I got um, this from L'Oreal, because I heard loads about it on YouTube. Um, it's the thing where you get this like squidgy thing and you can, you take this out like that. Um, you put some of this on your hand, like put it, into, put it into your face. And then you do that with this and you like rub your face with it and it kind of is a soft exfoliator. Um, but then I just realised that I got the one for dry for sense. What I can't talk. But I got the one for dry and sensitive skin. And my skin's sensitive, but it's not dry, so that's why. Like after I used it, my skin went oily during the day, and I wasn't very impressed. But that's my fault, to be honest. I got the wrong one. So yeah, it's okay. Um, it's okay. I prefer the muslin cloth for exfoliating. Um, I picked up this from Soap and Glory recently because I love it and I just really wanted it again and it's only about five or six pounds and you get 500 mil it's massive so yeah I love that and it smells so so nice so nice <laughs> in the shower and it makes your skin quite soft and then for my skin um, I've wanted this for ages the L'Oreal um, Studio Secrets Professional Primer and it looks like this it's like a really, it's kind of like a mousse texture, it's very very light and very silky feeling and when you put it on your face it just feels so soft and some people say when they put it on they feel like they could wear it on its own I don't think, I don't think that, like I don't know how that can happen because it's a, it's only a primer so it's not getting any coverage or anything so it doesn't make my skin like flawless on its own, I've got to put foundation over it but oh my god I just put my finger in it I think it's quite expensive because it used to be about £10 and I swear the, the price just gradually went up and up. But yeah, so far I like it. I've only used it a few times, so I can't really give you a good review of it yet. But I, I think it was £14 in boots, um, and you don't get that much. It's only a little little jar, so yeah. And I, I'm kind of obsessed with foundations, and I, always, I love buying foundations and trying to find the perfect foundation for me and my skin. Um, and I hadn't really tried a mineral powder foundation before, so I picked this up because I've been wondering about it for a long time. It's the Bare Minerals Matte Foundation. Um, so, uh, and mine's in Golden Medium. 
which I thought looked really light, but it actually suits me quite well. Um, so it looks like that inside. Focus. And you turn that round and then it, you know, comes out through there. So it's just a powder, um, but the, the finish I really like. I use it with my MAC 182 Kabuki brush. And yeah, so far I really like it. Um, but at the moment, because I've been so loyal to f liquid foundation, all, all I do is put like a few dots of my liquid foundation on, um, um, blend that in, and then I'll use this over top as the main foundation. How much was it? About £24, I think. Um, if I'm wrong, I'll, I'll tell you down below. So far I really like it, and I like the finish. Um, yeah. I got a new eyeshadow from MAC, and it's humid. And that is what it looks like. And I'll swatch it for you. That's the swatch. It's a really, really nice green. And it's... What's the finish? A frost. Um, I got this because I want to do like um, a dark, smoky, golden uh, green eye. <laughs> so I think this will be perfect for the look I want to do. And um, yeah, I got that from MAC. And it's just nice to have a darker green eyeshadow because I don't have many greens. Well, I don't have many colours in general of MAC, so I picked that up. I got this mascara from Natural Collection. It is the Lash Build Mascara. And the brush looks like this. And it's okay. I've only used it once, to be honest, because I only got it yesterday. But um, it's okay. I don't think it's amazing. But I'll use it more and then you might see it in one of my favourite videos or something. And then another thing I got from Natural Collection is the Pink Cloud Blush because I've heard so much about it. Um, it looks like that and it's supposed to be comparable to one of the MAC blushes, I forget which one. Um, but yeah, I haven't used it yet but I picked it up and yeah, it's a really pretty pink. For my hair I picked up this Nourishing Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage Serum from Boots. Um, I think it was about six pounds. Um, it smells really, really nice. The only thing is, it doesn't have heat protectant in, which the John Frieda does. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, but it is quite nice. Like I, I've used it today, used it yesterday, and I like, I like it, and I like the smell. It's really nice smell. <laughs> um, and there was only two left, so I think it's quite popular. Tell me if you've used it and if you like it. You are supposed to use it on damp hair, so. I picked up two products for my lips recently. I've been loving um, a really, really dark, vampy red lip because I've seen it on quite a few images recently and I know it's going to be very in this winter, so I tried to pick up a vampy red. Um, so first I tried to get one less expensive, so I got Be, Be Guild from Topshop, which looks like this. And it looks like the perfect colour. But when you put it on, the finish is kind of glossy, and I don't like, um, I don't really like the, a dark, glossy lip, um, as much as a matte one. So, the finish isn't perfect on this. It was £8, I think, from Topshop. Um, I'll swatch it. It looks like that on a swatch. Um, yeah, so it, it looks like a gorgeous colour, but I can't, the finish isn't exactly what I wanted. So, um, I went to MAC yesterday, and I actually back to MAC, so I took back six empty things and got this for free. Whoops. And uh, it's called Dark Side, it's an amplified finish, and it looks like that. And this is the right finish, and it's really, really nice. It's such a lovely, lovely lipstick. Um, so side by side, they're very similar. They're almost the same. So, yeah. Um, the only difference is the price. Unless you back to Mac and get this one for free, you could pick up this one from Topshop. Um, but they're very, very similar. But the finish of the Mac one I prefer because it's not glossy. So that is everything, and I hope you liked it and found it helpful, and hopefully you can pick some bits up where you are. I don't know what video to do, so I just thought I'd show you some makeup stuff. Because I don't really do makeup hauls re uh, usually. <laughs> I really can't talk today, sorry if I'm not myself. Before I go, I might show you my outfit, but I just wanted to shout a channel out because I've been wanting to do it for a while. Um, her channel is Hey June, and she's from, I think, Australia. And um, she, she has amazing style, and she does videos on all sorts of things. But I just wanted to shout her out because I find her style really, really inspirational. So if you like style that's quite interesting, unique, and she's really, you know, fashionable, obviously, then check out her channel, and I'll put it down below. And hi! <laughs> so, yeah. Hey June, check it out. And also, don't forget to check out my motel shop, where I picked out some of my favourite pieces from their website, and that they're kind of my style, so I've got my own little shop, and I'll link it down below.
so okay, that's about it i've got so i think i've got a fashion video coming up soon so watch out for that but um i'll see you in my next video this just came through the door because i ordered it and it's taken so long to get here <laughs> i just thought i'd show you all because i really like some of their songs so i wanted to get the album anyway random so i thought i'd do my outfit of the day um i'm wearing uh russian red from mac on my lips um then on my eyes i'm wearing some sumptuous olive from mac and just my usual wings liner. My earrings are from, oh, well, this earring is from Forever 21, I think. Um, necklace is from Forever 21, I picked it up yesterday, and I'm in love with it. <laughs> um, this, oh, wait, my, oh, <laughs> my uh, ring is from YSL, it's the art earring. This ring is from just a random one for H&M. These two are just random peach and My nail varnish is Model Zone Concrete Mixer. Um, this is from Pretty Boy Peep, this cross um, bracelet. This is from, what's it called again? Play suit? No, it's not really a play suit. It kind of does up all the way and has an elastic bit here. It's kind of weird, but it's from Topshop. <laughs> um, looks like that. Tights are just from Primark, and then I don't know if you can see my shoes, but they are from New Look and they're just leopard print uh, loafers and my bag is from Luna Wong and I'll be featuring some of her bags as well in my lookbook but um, it looks like this, it's gorgeous, like chocolate colour and it has a long strap and a short strap um, yeah so I'll put her website down below and yeah you might see this um, again in my lookbook because I'm going to like rest um, slightly restyle it and put it in my lookbook as well so watch out for that. I forgot. The perfume I'm wearing today is Amour by Kenzo which looks like this and it's so nice. And that is everything. Bye!